name is John Mulvihill, and my talk is on mechanical and structural characterization of the human meninges and phallus. We're all aware of what concussion is and how it happens and where it happens, as well as the actual impact of concussion. But our understanding of how to prevent and diagnose it is limited by our understanding of the tissue structure itself. So we use FE models to understand the knock-on effect of concussion within the brain. And we have plenty of geometrically accurate models. However, it is the material properties within that limit the accuracy of these stress and strain models. We have used them to good effect in improving uh, helmet designs um, and understanding the impact conditions within sport, um, leading to better diagnosis and recovery. However, to further improve these models, we need to accurately mimic the biological tissue structure and mechanics. So when we think of the brain, we, we think of it as these images here, however, um, and which leads to the thought of this video above. However, there is a tissue surrounding it called the meninges, and I liken it to the lycra suit for your brain. So understanding its role in concussion impacts is incredibly important. And we can see here in this video on the left here, the meninges being separated from the brain. So it is this strong, tough, very tight material around the brain. Um, so it's important to understand the, the, the material properties that we have for each tissue within our brain and highlighted in green is what we know and in red we do not know. So we have no mechanical models for these materials and this study is the first to characterize these tissues. So the phallic cerebri being one of the most important tissues because of its steep stiffness gradient with the surrounding um, brain tissue left and right. And it has been shown in previous studies how important this tissue structure is. So this study objectives is to mechanically characterize each component of the meninges, which includes the dura mater, the superior sagittal sinus, and the phallic cerebri, as well as structurally analyze it. So from the Dublin Brain Bank and Bowman Hosp Hospital in Dublin, Ireland, um, we isolated um, different uh, dura mater, phallic cerebri, and superior sagittal sinus um, tissues, where we segregated them. Uh, characterize them using um, uniaxial and biaxial tensile testing incorporating DIC. Um, for this particular study you're seeing the biaxial data um, which we carried out in both the medial lateral and um, uh, in anterior posterior and we got the following data. Um, so you're seeing the elastic moduli for each region and you can see the dura mater uh, being statistically significantly stiffer for in comparison to the phallus and superior sagittal sinus. It just demonstrates if we compare it to um, the Galford study from 1970 um, that there is similarities however the phallus and sagittal sinus are much lower. And compared to the brain and the surrounding skull you can see there are significant differences between it so it is an incredibly important tissue um, to divide these two very different materials. So it is an incredibly important material to um, understand concussion better and to avoid the video that you see on the top right, which is not a true reflection. We can see um, the importance um, of this tissue structure with the highly collagenous material you see on the right here, which is of the um, connection between the dura mater and the brain, and more images like so. So the key findings are the difference in material properties between the different tissue components of the meninges as well as the highly structured and collagenous material. Thank you for your time.